is one finalist. Now it's just a, a one frame shootout. Lee Hang and Luca Bussell going head to head for a massive prize. Final frame. The hunt to break. No more second chances, Joe. It all boils down to this. Yes, funnily enough, it always looked like that, didn't it? Didn't put the cue ball back because he fancied that Brussel would catch him thin the next time round. And he could have been in trouble himself. And looks like a good choice of shot. Gotta be very careful now, the red's so nicely split. And if one of them does get in, could be end of frame a match. And this is a little bit of trouble. Did well there. That was good cue part to get the cue ball back to the bulk area like that. Very good safety shot, this time from Luca Bressel.
playing off these two reds below the pink, but he's got to find the gap between those reds, and he has done. And very nearly got him behind the green. This is a big shot he's taking on here, Lee Hank. What a brave shot that was from Lee Hank. To take that on, he gets a little smile from Luca Brassel because now it's down to Lee Hank this fight semi-final well that was a peach and for a man who said that his technique a few years back was in disarray your technique is not in disarray if you can knock in balls like that pink and blue available so he should be able to get himself a good lead here. Oh, and he misses a sitter. How important is that miss going to be? He was looking good for quite a few points there. Oh, look where he's played the cue ball. Nearly left himself badly hampered. Concentration plays such a massive part. The last two shots that Bressel's played haven't been good. Left himself fairly straight on the blue. get another chance. Here's the red that he missed. Can't believe it. Fourteen. He's playing with fire at the moment, Brazil. Cue ball's not going anywhere near where he's meaning it to go. You can almost touch the tension out there. Every shot, even the most routine, has to be treated with the utmost respect. What a mega frame this is for both players. He'd like to play onto that red nearest the left corner. Can 
finally get to it. A fraction harder than you would. So I'd like to have been closer to the pink. You're right, Joe. Make no mistake, this is a real pressure ball. Yeah, good shot. And the last of the heats, well, there's red above the black. So, Fort. still got two or three reds that he can play. Driving another nail in the coffin. Now he could play to split those reds or just drop behind that red by the black. So many players would choose different shots. Some players would have gone into the reds. I'm sure that probably O'Sullivan, Hendry, Higgins, maybe would have done. But you can understand him not. This is such a mega game for Luca Brassell. Yes, and already his lead is beginning to look mountainous. Can you see the red? There's no applause. Forty-three points the lead and he can see the red. Fifty-five. Well cometh the hour, this has been a tremendous break. Okay, he's short on the pink there, but to make a half century in these circumstances where the balls were super stuff and it's still going. Six to one. Six to well, two. hasn't he took these well? Needs another red though. Where's it going to come from? It can screw to that side cushion. He's got the angle screwing behind this red over the right side. And that looks good. Just needs the red. Nothing I think, fancy. I think this is what they call reserving your best until last. Excellent Six, stuff from Brazil. Although, it should have been Lee Hang, shouldn't it? It was an unforced error where he missed the easy red to the left corner. These could have been his. But it's going to be Luca Brazil who wins it. And the way it works, Lee Hang has played some good snooker in this match. 75. He's been tremendous for the tournament, but the one shot he'll remember from this match is that misread. And in fact, he'll never forget it. Look at Brazil. He's carrying on, but surely a forlorn hope. 64 behind, 51 on. Well, I certainly don't blame him for carrying on. That's a good start. Well, it's four snookers. Of course, he could possibly get a free ball. That's always in the equation. But Brussel almost home and dry. The break he's just made there, Joe. Not the highest he's made in his career. But probably the most important. And maybe even the best. Yes, it was a good break, no doubt about that. Had to pot some very good balls, a couple of pinks into the middle. That were definitely missable.
it would have been tremendous for Charney Snooker to see Lee Hang in the final. But then again, it's tremendous for continental European snooker to see Luca Brassell through. And surely that is now that. Indeed, Lee Hang put up quite a fight, but he couldn't hang around enough to get into the final. Instead, Luca Brassell awash with relief. He's beaten Li Hang by six frames to five in a real marathon here in Guangzhou. And he's got one more test to come on the morrow because he's into the final of the China Championship to take on England's Sean Murphy. Wow. Higgins. 47. Maybe would have done. But you can understand him not. This is such a mega game for Luca Brassell. Yes, and already his lead is beginning to look mountainous. Can you see the red? There's no applause. Forty three points the lead, and he can see the red. Well, come at the hour, this has been a tremendous break. OK, he's short on the pink there, but to make a half century in these circumstances where the balls were super stuff, and it's still going. Six to one. Well, hasn't he took these well? Needs another red, though. Where's it going to come from? It can screw to that side cushion. He's got the angle screwing behind this red over the right side. And that looks good. Just needs the red. Nothing I think, fancy. I think this is what they call reserving your best until last. Excellent stuff from Brazil. Although, it should have been Lee Hang, shouldn't it? It was an unforced error where he missed the easy red to the left corner. These could have been his. But it's going to be Luca Brissell who wins it. And the way it works, Lee Hang has played some good snooker in this match. 75. He's been tremendous for the tournament. But the one shot he'll remember from this match is that miss red. And in fact, he'll never forget it. Brazil. He's carrying on, but surely a forlorn hope. 64 behind, 51 on. Well, I certainly don't blame him for carrying on. That's a good start. Well, it's four snookers. Of course, he could possibly get a free ball. That's always...
got to be very careful now. The red's so nicely split. And if one of them does get in, it could be end of frame a match. And this is a little bit of trouble. did well there. That was a good cue part to get the cue ball back to the bulk area like that. Very good safety shot this time from Luca Bressel. the nail in the coffin. Now he could play to split those reds or just drop behind that red by the black. So many players would choose different shots. Some players would have gone into the reds. I'm sure that probably O'Sullivan, Hendry, Higgins maybe would have done. Can understand him not. This is such a mega game for Luca Brassell. Yes, and already his lead is beginning to look mountainous. Can you see the red? There's no applause. Forty three points the lead and he can see the red. Fifty-five. Well cometh the hour, this has been a tremendous break. Okay, he's short on the pink there, but to make a half century in these circumstances where the balls were super stuff and it's still going. Six to one. Six to well, two. hasn't he took these well? Needs another red though. Where's it going to come from? It can screw to that side cushion. He's got the angle screwing behind this red over the right side. And that looks good. Just needs the red. Nothing I think, fancy. I think this is what they call reserving your best until last. Excellent stuff from Brazil. Although, it should have been Lee Hang, shouldn't it? It was an unforced error where he missed the easy red to the left corner. These could have been his. But it's going to be Luca Brazil who wins it. And the way it works, Lee Hang has played some good snooker in this match. 75. He's been tremendous for the tournament, but the one shot he'll remember from this match is that misread. And in fact, he'll never forget it. Look at Brazil. He's 75. carrying on, but surely a forlorn hope. 64 behind, 51 on.
no more second chances, Joe. It all boils down to this. Yes, funnily enough, it always looked like that, didn't it? Didn't put the cue ball back because he fancied that Brussel would catch him thin the next time round. And he could have been in trouble himself. And looks like a good choice of shot. 